Okay, here she is. 2016 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. It's gonna become a hell cougar falcon bird, dude. And they're already painted red. Nice 175,000 miles of cigarette smoke in here. Look at this interior though, it's a little shot, but perfect for what I need. <laughs> In Orlando to pick up my new burnout and drift car for Cletus and Cars and at the Freedom Factory. I've always wanted one of these cars or a variant of one or to take the motor out of one and swap it into something else, but this was too good of a deal to pass up. I think it's going to be a perfect car. It's a six speed, it's rear wheel drive, it's got a lot of horsepower factory, and I know dang well they can do burnouts because I've done burnouts in them. So Let's go check this thing out. I have never seen it in person. I've only seen it online. I pulled the, the Carfax last night and it's had a couple interesting accidents that I'm uh, excited to tell you guys about. So come tag along as I go on this journey. I just got in here this morning and uh, let's go pick this thing up. Okay, here she is. 2016 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. We'll scope there, but. 175,000 miles on this thing. Can you believe that? Oh, looks like oh, it's missing the banana peels. I'm gonna have to get some for that. All right, guys, it's Talvin. He's got the Hellcat for sale. Tell us a little bit about this thing. Where'd you guys get it from? Uh, we picked this up at auction in Tampa. And you said, uh, um, where'd you get it from? What auction was it? I got it from CarMax. CarMax, that's right. So somebody traded it in, obviously. 174 on the clock. You brought it to Dodge to say, like, is this thing legit? Is it going to be all right? <laughs> they said, though, they said they never seen one anywhere near that type of mine. And now you're open. It's not too bad. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> all right, so clutch is quite stiff. We got a couple check engine lights going on here. One of them is the, is the fuel cap. Other one is for the O2 sensors. Amp fire doesn't work. Interior, look at this. Definitely 175 miles of smoking cigarettes and resting their arm right here, but it's a one owner, a lady owned car. She must have been some kind of sales rep running between Georgia and Florida because that's where it's been registered. It sounds good. The oil on the catch can is a little concerning. Oof, quite a bit of oil. But we'll check it once we get back. I mean, I expect a motor with this amount of miles on it to uh, breathe that much. Mm -hmm. I'll probably have to get out of the car, look at the VIN, see if the motor matches the uh, the VIN on the uh, body. Pretty dang clean, honestly. Pull the codes on this thing. It looks like uh, from the exhaust, we've got this active exhaust valve performance code, the battery monitor, evap system fuel loose fuel cap we can reset that the catalytic converters are efficiency are thrown codes and the evap system from the uh fuel lid so it seems like it's just the uh fuel and the o2 sensors that are throwing these codes honestly it seems like the car's down on power when i was slamming gears but i think it's just because it's throwing these o2 sensor codes so could be an easy fix and we'll see if we can cut them a little bit of a deal here so okay let's get to it do some paperwork i'm definitely bringing this home thing home we got clues and cars houston this weekend the car leaves on transport on wednesday i've already got parts on the way to fix those o2 sensors because i knew that coming into it when i took this car out for a test drive i was like dang this thing feels underpowered like it just doesn't feel like it's all there so i called garrett and i was like hey man i don't know this thing doesn't feel right feels like it's not hitting on all eight or uh, I don't know. He's like, listen, man, you just got back from race week. You've been driving your eight second car all week. Everything you drive is going to feel slow. And I was like, dang, that's a great point right there. With that being said, as I'm driving it, I know these Hellcats have a lot of supercharger wine. This car does not. I know it has a stock pulley on it, but I'm thinking with it being such high miles, the supercharger probably needs to be rebuilt. So I if it's gonna be rebuilt, you know I'm just gonna get a big dog on there. But uh, everything else seems pretty solid. I do have parts on the way to fix those O2 sensors. 
the, even though I cleared the codes at the dealership, I still uh, am throwing the same code with the fuel filler cap. No big deal. Should be able to do some fat burnouts and uh, send it this weekend and clean us the cars Houston. Oh yeah, the AC absolutely rips in this thing. You can see the condensation building up way better than the 12 valve and the stereo doesn't work. It seems like I need a new amplifier because everything seems to be connecting just fine, but uh, just no noise. Well, first things first, as you guys know, I don't have the best of luck with oil. And to give you a little sample of what it's looking like, it's a little dark, like real dark. Gonna do a quick oil change on her. She's gonna be sitting on the rev limiter this weekend in Houston. And, uh, you know, just wanna make sure proper maintenance is done because this thing's got a lot of miles. And the way to keep her going for another 175K is make sure we change them fluids all the time. First modification to the old Hell Kitten. Breaking in this fresh asshole. Break. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, cut the rear brake lines, looped it back to itself because I've got a hydraulic handbrake on the way and we don't need those rear brakes or we're going. Ain't that right? You know what's nice about when you get this handbrake? What's that? Those are some big brimbos back there already, so that thing's gonna fight like Ooh. it's got teeth. Ooh, set up ready to go. It's gonna become a hell cougar falcon bird, dude. And they're already painted red. Race car red. Dude. Race car red. Big burnout guy. Big burnout car. One yep. owner, 175,000 miles. Can it do a burnout? Can it do a burnout? Let's try it. <laughs> Got a helmet? I'm guessing, I'm guessing because it's a Hellcat that it can do a burnout, but we really need to know for sure. We need to know for sure. The crustiest center console in the history of center consoles. And it's got 175,000 packs of cigarettes through her. Yeah, yeah. Not only is it every mile, there's one pack of cigarette on this thing. She's a stinker. What? Yeah, I'd go second. It does a burnout. It does a burnout. It does a burnout. I think we're ready for Cleus and Cars Houston this weekend. I think you are too, dude. This Second year, like it was nothing. Yeah, let's get the coolant temp pulled up. Mm, coolant temp, 224. Nothing, dude. Nothing. You could probably take third. Did second so easy. Uh, try third all the way. I mean, if you want, it's going to burn the tires in third, I guarantee you. <laughs> Save it for Houston. Save it for the Houstons. I want that oil pressure. Let's change the oil. That yesterday. smells like clutch a little bit. Oh yeah, she's good. 30 bit. Grab her up a little bit. Oh yeah, money do. Nice. Huh? The Houston Cleason cars you might have a running chance of burnout rivals. And the old high cat, high mile Hellcat. Ooh, the bumper paint match, not clean. Not clean. We'll take it though, we'll take it. Don't ever park it in the sun like this. Hey, uh, Look at the bumper match. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see it like that in the other light. We are missing some banana peels. Yeah. Might have to get those reinstalled. Oh yeah, the bumper guard banana peels. Okay, something a little suspicious about this car. I pulled the car packs. Now it's one owner. It's been at three minor accidents. Two of them were with collisions with parked vehicles. Weird deal. A little suspicious. Weird deal. Probably lighting one of the thousands of cigarettes that went through this vehicle. It's exactly Wasn't paying right. attention and boom, hit a car. Exactly right. So for this weekend, I uh, disconnected the rear brakes because we are doing a hydraulic yeah. handbrake on it. Got plenty of power. Plenty of power. Got some <laughs> new steelies going on on the back. Got some uh, wheels and tires off of an old Charger police car. So Hell yeah. Should be a good fit. Well, see you in Houston. Let's go. The old high mile cat.
honestly, we get some uh, coilover suspensions and a handbrake. Dude, it's a drift car. It is a drift car. And some angle. It's got the perfect. Uh, it's got the perfect power plant for it. It really. Yeah, so it's like the most powerful drift car I've ever driven. <laughs> that's, that's awesome, man. Oh, I'm glad we got it. Cool. Back to All right, we're good. Okay, that's a wrap for today's episode on the world's highest mile Hellcat. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We're going to be taking it to Cletus and Cars Houston this weekend and competing in the Burnout Rivals competition. I've already got a bunch of wheels set up for it. I'm super stoked. It's leaving on the transporter in two days, and it's going with the rest of the cars like Chad's LS Swap Mustang and Garza's K-Swap Miata. We're going to have a bunch of sick cars. Make sure you guys come out to the event.